Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Mini Luxury. Here are eight of the most expensive trading cards in history. Number eight, 1954 Ted Williams. The 1954 Ted Williams trading card is a sports card that got sold at an extraordinary price of about $69,000. The main reason for this card's high value is the signature of Ted Williams' legendary. This card comes with a bright yellow background and the signature of the greatest hitter in baseball is black, creating a sharp and attractive contrast. It was chosen to be on the top sets back and forth because of its immense value. i probably see another. Mm -hmm. Seven like this. Number seven, Pokemon cards. Pokemon trading cards have been one of the most famous ones among non-sport trading cards, and one of the most popular ones among the Pokemon cards is the Pikachu Illustrator. It has a value of about $74,000, making it one of the most expensive Pokemon cards. It's also quite rare and difficult to obtain. The pre-release Raichu card has a price of about $250,000, making it the other most valued Pokemon card. The pre-release Raichu card is so rare and valuable because only 10 of these cards were made for the original distributors who were employees at the Wizards of the Coast. This comes through! Next up, we got Darkness Ablaze. Let's see if we can get someone. Number six, Michael Jordan Basketball, 1986-87 Fleer Rookie Card. Michael Jordan's the most famous basketball trading card. It's also the most valuable with a price of about $100,000. Amazingly, it's not as rare as the most valued trading cards on this list. It was reported to sell for $100,000 in 2011, and the interest rate on this card is expected to rise given how popularly it is purchased as an investment. The PSA 10s, those are like $15,000, right? Uh, Number 5, Babe Ruth, 1915-16, Sporting News. The baseball legend Babe Ruth's card was almost among the most valued originally with the 1914 trading card, but currently the high valued cards are the 1915 and 16. This rookie card could easily sell for about $1.35 million at an auction. It's renowned for featuring Babe Ruth's iconic stance in a Red Sox uniform before he was given away to the Yankees. The M101-4 and M101-5 productions were fairly large sets, a uh, couple hundred cards. Number four, Tournament Black Luster Soldier. This is rumored to have an outstanding value of about $2 million. In Japan, it has also been printed on stainless steel after having won the 1999 championship. This is what makes the Tournament Black Luster Soldier more valuable than any other tournament card. Next in value would be the Blue Eyes White Dragon card, Slifer the Sky Dragon, or the Dark Magician variants over time, some of which are the most powerful cards in the game. For example, Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Well, Number 3, Honus Wagner 1909-11 T206. This is arguably the well, most well-known baseball card among trading cards. One of the main reasons this card stands out among others is that it's relatively extensive dimension. It came back into being in the 1970s and ever since then it has changed hands and price values quite a bit. It was sold in 2013 for 2.1 million and later the private selling of this card bought the price to an exquisite 2.8 million. And considered one of the rarest and, and most valuable cards in the world dating all the way back to 1939. Number 2, 2009 Bowman Chrome Draft Prospects Superfractor Mike Trout signed rookie card Mint 9. This was one of the most expensive trading cards before the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle card broke this fantastic record. This card was exclusively signed by Mike Trout and it's the reason behind its high value. It was recently purchased in August 2020 for a whopping value of $3.93 million. Beckett Grading has graded this card a mint 9 with a subgrade of 9.5 for the center and a 9 for the sides. This card's also referred to as the Jumbo Wagner and its PSA rating is 5 field of these refractors as you tilt them in the light they just come to life and the gold refractor number one 1952 tops mickey mantle card psa 9. currently the most expensive trading card in the world is the 1952 tops mickey mantle card psa or professional sports authenticator has graded this card a nine the jaw-dropping price of this fantastic card was about 5.2 million dollars rob goff famously bought who is known for his clothing and cbd line dope Goff is also an actor, an entrepreneur, and a super collector of cards and made this historical purchase in November 2020. The trading card culture might seem to be an outdated or old school concept. However, even now, collecting trading cards can be a highly profitable investment, as it can sell at pretty huge numbers and interest rates. But this brings us to the end of our video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.